Hi, this is Bonnie and I have a new project. Um, I am using Jen Nielsen's, um, or maybe it's Nelson, I'm sorry Jen if I uh, pronounced your last name wrong, but it's N-I-L-S-S-O-N, -S -S and she's on Etsy, and she makes digital images, and she has this um, new colored, pre-colored image that I'm going to be making into a 3D. Um, when you get the image, you will need to print it off four times. I have printed mine off at three inches tall. And the other thing you're going to be needing is some foam tape of some sort so you can make your 3D image um, be 3D. So I'm going to go ahead and get cutting this out and then I'll lay it out and show you how I'm going to layer it. Okay, I have my image cut out. I don't remember if I said at the beginning the name of this image. It is called Bushel and a Pack and you can get it also in a black and white digital image and color it up yourself. So um, I decided I wanted more than four, or actually yeah, this would be four layers. I wanted to have two more layers. So instead of printing the entire image off, I went ahead and printed off two cropped images because I just wanted the basket a little bit larger and the hands for the very last layer. So um, I'm gonna go ahead really quickly while I'm on, while I'm filming and just show you how I cut. And the key to doing uh, 3D for me um, has been having very um, thin blade scissors. Um, I have purchased these when I was living overseas in Wales and um, I can't identify the brand, but I absolutely love them. Anybody that's out there watching, if you know, let's see if we can get that brand up there, I don't know. If you know that brand, if you can see it, and you know what it is, and you can tell me, I'd be really happy because I would love to buy another pair of scissors just like this or similar. All the other ones I have purchased, um, the blades are definitely not this thin. And this really allows me to make teeny, teeny, tiny cuts and uh, I've been a little bit more successful than with other scissors um, that I've ever used. And that's been a lot in the time that I've been crafting. So, um, like I said, this basically is what I do. Also, a little tip um, to let you know is um, a lot of people are doing these cutting out um, their um, printables, um, the colored images, on their silhouette or their expressions machine. I have yet to do that. Um, I know that it cuts really, really nicely for you and very quickly. Um, I just actually like the the uh, relaxing part of cutting it myself, so it doesn't. It's more of a stress to figure out something I don't know. So anyway, um, I wanted to go ahead and show you the layers. This is the first layer. I just completely cut out the bear. The next layer, um, if you can kind of see I cut off the bow in the insides of the ears and the insides of the feet and as I am telling you this I am just gonna go right ahead and um, peel off the tape off of my double-sided tape it's a foam tape and you can see how much tape I use I don't use a lot of tape I know there's some people that like to have a lot I find that because of the layers I don't need as much tape I just need certain areas that will hold up better. So anyway, so like I said, this is my first layer right here, my second layer. And all you do is you line that right up to what you have underneath. And you can really then see what it is that I have cut away. Uh, I want to make sure I got that right because this tape isn't as forgiving as some other tape. Um, so that's our second layer. Our third layer, I cut off the ears and I cut off the feet. And um, I think again, you'll be able to see as I'm doing this, the layers, and you can always pause it because I can show you and you can see what they look like. So my next layer will be going right on top. And I wanna make sure with the camera right there, it's kind of sometimes hard for me to line it up exactly how I want it. And that looks pretty good. Okay, so that's my third layer. And you can see one, two, three. And oh, lots of times I don't really include these teeny tiny bits. But this is the patch that goes on the foot. 
and I'm gonna turn it around and put that on. And again, you don't have to do that if you don't like tiny bits on yours. I'm gonna put that up a little bit. And then my fourth layer, correct? Yep, my fourth layer, this is what I cut out. And it's basically the basket, the hearts, and the hands or the paws. And that will lay on top, obviously, of the basket. And again, if you get your head over what you're working on, you're more likely to line it up correctly than not. And I really debated whether or not to cut out the muzzle because technically, if you really look at the um, image, the bow is really in front of it. But I wanted to have two different layers. And so I decided to go ahead and do the nose anyway. Your muzzle. And then I went and did the patch for the very top. And again, I'm going to turn them upside down. It's a little bit easier for me. Probably be easier for you too, because you can sit up above it. So that is my fourth layer. Um, you can see the three layers plus the fourth layer. Super cute image, super, super cute. And this will be my next layer. And all it is is the basket without the hearts. And again, I'll show you. Basket without the hearts. And I'm trying to line it up. And that just gives the depth to the hearts in the basket. And then the very last layer, I haven't put any tape on that yet, but I cut out some pieces before I started filming. And you wanna make sure you have the right hands. And usually I try to leave my things in the same um, direction, like left and right so that when I go to do them, but usually, honestly, when I go to do this myself, I um, as I do the layers, I don't lay them out like I showed you, but I wanted you to see them. I usually layer them as I go. And then I don't have any lost piece, small pieces or anything like that. And for the convenience of filming, I went ahead and taped all my other layers so I could do it a little bit more quickly so you didn't have to sit here and watch all the time. Or you could always speed it up if you didn't want to see. But that is going to be my completed image. And it's just so cute. Not only that, but these, once you do these layers, they're really, really, really sturdy. They could almost sit up on their own. They're that cool. They could actually be even a magnet without a problem. They're just that cute. So again, I'm going to show you a little bit closer. And you can see the layers to that. And I can use this on a card. I could, like I said, I could use a magnet. I could use it in the front of a journal. Um, I can, it's paper, um, paper craft. You can do whatever you want to, but they're so adorable when they're 3D. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. And I'm gonna go ahead and give you the links um, so you can see where you can purchase Jen, Jen's um, images. And um, I hope you enjoy. Um, I'm also going to be doing um, this on a card or project and when I do I will include that um, in photos on my blog and my blog will be is not will be but is Grandma Bonnie's Place. You just type that in Google and it should come up. Thanks so much for watching.